Welcome back to the channel guys and would you believe it, it's the 1st of December. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some Christmas gift ideas for a CrossFitter. Now if you're like me and in the previous years you often leave Christmas gift buying right to the last minute and rely on Amazon Prime, well look no further because I've got you some very good ideas for Christmas presents. So I'm going to go through a few ideas whether it be stocking fillers or just a gift for a crossfitter, whether you're a crossfitter yourself or you have a friend or a family member that does crossfit. Or maybe you're a crossfitter and you're just fed up with receiving rubbish gifts year after year. Well, maybe send this video on to them because I'm going to give you a whole load of ideas what to buy a crossfitter from practical to just things that are pretty good to have anyway. So let's get into it. Stay tuned for the last one because I think you might be surprised what the last gift is. So starting off, thumb tape. Now, if you have ever done any Olympic weightlifting, you will know how sore your thumbs can get. So if you're new to CrossFit, you might already have sore thumbs. When we put our hook grips on, on the bar, it can get quite sore. And if you're not used to that sort of grip, it is gonna be a little bit alien to you. So to make that as comfortable as we can, Thumb tape is a great way to make it a little bit more comfortable. It's also a great product if you do any gymnastics and you find that you blister in certain areas. This is a great product to be able to wrap up that blister or that friction point on your hands so you can carry on and do whatever movement it is, whether it be a barbell movement or a gymnastics movement for longer. I've put some examples of all the gifts I suggest in the comments below. Uh, one that I can personally vouch for is the Mammal Strength tape. I've tried lots of tapes uh, in the past and if you just look on Amazon for example there's lots of varieties of tape. This tape is really good. It is flexible so you can put it around your thumb and it doesn't cut off the circulation. Some tape is very rigid so when you put it on and you put it on a little bit too tight you can't bend your thumbs too well. They come in multiple colour options and actually that is up for under 20 quid. I think it's like 19 pounds something. So take a look. Thumb tape is my first gift idea. Next we have sweatbands. Now if you have seen my how to use CrossFit Grips video, I will link it in the cards above, you will know that I advocate for wearing sweatbands under your grips. It's much more comfortable. You'll see a lot of CrossFitters do this and also keep sweat off your hands. I like wearing sweatbands in workouts for that, those very reasons and I've got a variety of sweatbands in my bag. You know, you can't have too many essentially. So if you are new to CrossFit and you've never tried it, definitely have a go. Or if you know someone that's just started CrossFit, this would be a great gift for them. I use Relin ones, they're my favourite, but I have used lots of different variety ones in the past. Uh, and they all do pretty much the same. There's different thicknesses. The ones I'm about to show you are uh, a longer wrist uh, wristband and they are from Relin. Lots of different colors, very uh, cheap shipping actually. When I was doing the video, it was I think it was 99p shipping. I don't know if that's since changed by the time I get the uh, video out, but very good uh, Christmas gift idea. And again, lots of colors, so can be for anyone regardless of what colour schemes they like. Whilst I'm talking about grips, why don't we add them to our list? Gymnastic grips are a great Christmas present. Even if you have them already, or your friend or whoever you're buying for has them already, you can really never have too many grips. First of all, they wear. So, you know, probably once a year you might have to replace them. Depending on the rig that you'll be working out on, it might be best to have a different type of grip. So there's lots of different grips on the market. I like the Relin Gecko ones and I get on really well with them. I've tried a number across the years uh, and these seem to be the best for me, but there are other ones available. Velites, I think that's how you pronounce it. They've got some great grips and there's many others if you just type in on Amazon gymnastic grips. But these are definitely a must have for any CrossFit bag and would be a great gift. I'll put the link to the Relin ones down below. As you can see, they range in price and probably start from around £20, so can be a really cost-effective Christmas gift. They go up to probably £50 plus. If you've seen the Frog uh, Gymnastic Grips recently uh, advertised through, I, I see them a lot on social media, they're really good, but I think they're out of stock at the moment. But anyway, there's lots of grips uh, to choose from. These would be a great gift for someone. Next, moving on to a lifting belt. Now, most people, if you go to the gym, you probably will have a belt already. However, if you don't, this will be a great Christmas gift. On Amazon, you can find an Element 26 
lifting belt. I like this because it's got that buckle where the Velcro feeds through and it kind of locks so the belt doesn't come off. So when you're in a workout and you need to adjust it um, or you need to re reduce the belt if you're doing a different movement before a heavy lift, it you just rip the um, Velcro off and it will stay there because of that clasp. These are really great belts. There's lots of other belts available. And again, if you type in on Amazon or into Google, you know, lifting belts, weightlifting belts, there'll be many to choose from. But this is a very inexpensive gift. The one that I have is 26, 27 pounds. So really quite cheap. I use it multiple times a week. Let's put it that way. If you're squatting, deadlifting or doing any heavy lifting, it's likely that you're going to need a belt at some point. So a very useful gift. Next up, Something you might not have thought of before, but voodoo or flossing bands. If you've seen my knee warm up video, this is one of the things I absolutely love when I'm warming up for any lifting movement. I've got some very old achy knees and these really do help warm them up. So again, a very inexpensive gift, something that not everyone thinks about. It will be a great addition to any gym bag and a really good Christmas gift if you're struggling to find something for someone that's got everything. Next up, a very practical gift, chalk. Now, it's a bit boring, but very useful, and I wouldn't be without my chalk. We went to a competition. If you watch my Turf Games video, one of the best things you could have taken to an event like that is chalk. They don't have chalk necessarily at all the events that we go to, so having your own is a must. As you'll see here, you can buy the block of chalk, which I've got. I normally just put in a Tupperware container or you've got liquid chalk. Both will be a very good stocking filler and very inexpensive. I think the block of chalk's probably four or five pounds and the liquid chalk's probably six, seven or something like that. But a great Christmas gift nonetheless. Now, no CrossFit bag would be complete without your own skipping rope. Now there's lots of speed ropes available. I've put a link down below to the one I use, which is the Relin Flare Pro. Uh, but there's lots of speed ropes available out there. Again, the Relin ones are about 35 to 40 pounds. Uh, the link below, you'll see the which ones I've got. There is also a Velites one that I've seen recently, someone had in the box and it was really good. You know, one of the tests I would do is spin the bearing with the uh, rope at the top being held and it went on and on and on. Now, that to me would be a very good sign of a good rope and little to no friction if those bearings are gonna be able to keep moving. They also come with, as you'll see in this picture, their own Allen keys so you can adjust it on the fly. So really good rope. There's lots available. These are probably fairly uh, well priced ropes for what they are. They're probably middle to the top end. Um, I know you can spend a lot of money on ropes. If you're just starting out, you can also go to the cheaper end of the scale. So have a look online. Amazon do a load. I can personally vouch for the Relin one though because I use that still daily and it's been an absolute great work for me. Finally, the gift that you may not have considered, but as soon as I say it, I expect people want to buy one, is the beaded rope. You'd only need to go back a few years in CrossFit and double unders was everything we did with a skipping rope. However, only a few years ago, there was the single under that was tripping people up, mind the pun. Move forward a few years, we've got the crossover, the double crossover, if that's what they're called. Uh, and different movements coming out in skipping that actually with a speed rope, it's not really that easy. So these beaded ropes do a number of things. First of all, the beads add a little bit more weight to the rope, meaning you get a little bit more feedback. If you ever have seen people do tricks with ropes, they use these beaded ropes to practice and learn the movements. Um, not only because they give more feedback, but they also, they don't hurt as much when you whip yourself. Now, these will be a great addition to any CrossFit bag. And do you know what? I haven't seen these in our box, at least, or in many people's gyms at all. Now, I think these will come into their own, if, especially if there's new movements that continue to come into CrossFit with skipping. But if not, these are a great addition because you will be able to practice different movements with skipping rope without having to go through the pain of whipping yourself. Certainly when most people learn double unders, one of the limiting factors is how much pain can you take when you whip yourself with a rope so many times. So hopefully this will help. One of the brands that I've seen that's caught my eye is Dope Ropes. I haven't got one of these yet, but I know someone that has, and I really want to go on one. Um, these are very attractive ropes. They've got beads that are interchangeable in different colors. The handles can be changed, and obviously the rope can be uh, adjusted so it is suitable for your height. 
This is a great addition to any gym bag, uh, and I'm almost positive that if you bought it for someone, it would be a great gift. If you got me for Secret Santa, this is the thing that I want, okay? So make sure you get it for me. If not, I'm gonna have to buy it in January if I haven't already bought it, got it for Christmas. As you can see here, there's lots of different varieties of rope to buy, different colors, and they start from about 20 pounds. So it really is a fairly cheap Christmas gift to buy someone. Well guys, that's my Christmas gift idea for this year. Hopefully you've found one or two things that you thought might be a great gift for someone. If you are buying gifts for someone, hopefully this has helped out. If you are a CrossFitter and you are fed up with getting that same deodorant gift set from your nan, maybe send her this video. Maybe you will get the CrossFit Christmas gift that you've always wanted this year. Who knows? As it's December, I'm hopefully going to get a few more videos out before the end of the year. So we are going to be doing the 12 days of Christmas workout. If you've never done that, make sure you stay tuned for that video because it's going to be a really good workout and it's my favourite workout of the year. So it will be a great one. If you haven't already and you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below for more content like this. My goal is to get to a thousand subscribers. And I want to do that before the end of next year. I'm on 205 now, so thank you each and every one of you. I love you all. But although I've got 205, I've still got some way to go. So if you are new, please do hit that subscribe button. If you have liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button because it really does help my channel grow. And have I missed any Christmas gifts out from my list? I'm sure there are a few. So if there are, make sure you add them to the comments below. What are you going to be buying someone this year? Or have I missed a gift that is essential that needs to be on this list? If it is, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.